Burrow is suspended for the second leg then, but apart from that, everything seems set fair for the game at home park. But sadly, Plymouth's form, especially at the back, deserted them just when they needed it most, despite the best possible start. Dalton and McCall together. That's it, might be Dalton who will swing the ball in. Towards Marshall who gets a flick on, a chance for the shot now, and Dwight Marshall gives Argyle the lead. And the crowd here at Home Park goes absolutely wild. 15 minutes gone, Marshall getting a first touch on it, the ball coming back to it, and whack into the top corner of the net. Well, they needed an early goal to steady them. And it came in a slightly fortuitous way. Marshall will be happy with that. And they're coming a long way for that one. And going again. Oh, Heath knocking it forward. France is getting away from Comin. Nichols has had to come off his line. John Francis! And Francis makes it one all. Well, he'd been threatening on a couple of occasions to get past that Argyle defence. And this time he does it. And they come in just struggling a little bit for pace, a bit of pushing and shoving between them. Nichols had come off his line, Francis taking it wide and then tucking it away. Very well indeed. His ninth goal of the season, John Francis. Come in just struggling a little bit to get with him. Tucked away, very well indeed. Now oh, Dalton. Too many chances to uh, set off on a run. Not again. Obviously the subject of some close attention. Francis again bringing the ball away. Looking to get through that gap in the middle. And he might get the shot in here. And he does. And John Francis makes it 2-0. What is the Argyle defence doing, you wonder? Two players marking him then. Somehow he manages to wriggle free of both Andy Comin and Keith Hill creating a gap for himself, and then slotting the ball past Nichols. Two goals in the space of two minutes, and suddenly this game is transformed. Francis going straight through the middle, and Nichols is beaten, and the pendulum swings in Burnley's favour. Patterson then floating the free kick in. The Common is up there. That might fall for Landon, and it could save in the end from Marlon Beresford. Hill spreading it wide towards Dalton, who gets the head on the ball. Falls for Nugent, Nugent looking for space to turn. And back across the face of the goal, Patterson's coming in with a shot. And good effort, well saved by Marlon Beresford. here Joyce playing it wide for McMinn and they suddenly have three players in the box As McMinn looks for space to get the cross in gets a shot in instead comes off Nichols and that surely is good night for Plymouth Argyle well Warren Joyce delighted to score against his old club it came off Nichols Joyce was there pounces on it and Burnley are on their way to Wembley then doubtful before the start, plays such a key role for Burnley, getting round a couple of times, gets the shot in, it just bubbled away from Nichols, he should have held on to that one, but Warren Joyce put it away superbly. Despite the disappointment, Shilton can now reflect on a season with plenty of plus points. Well, I don't think we finished empty-handed. I mean, uh, you've got to th look back and say that, you know, we the average gate was up, I think, it, I don't know what it was, at the end, nine and a half thousand, something like that. We proved that we can have big gates at the club, uh, we've, our reputation in football uh, grew throughout the season. People knew that Plymouth played attractive football and had a very good side. The club gained financially throughout the season, and we finished third in the league, which is a which is a fine achievement. Um, in the long run, um, it gives us an extra season to actually build a, the side a little bit more, maybe have another good season financially, and then if we do get promotion. Um, then we may be even in a better position to actually go on from there than maybe if we got it this season. So you heard it here first. There could be even more to cheer about next season at Plymouth Argyle. <laughs>